Hello, Blast Processors, and a bit of a first this time around, I'm doing a pickups video. Not something, not this is Tom's territory, let's face it. But in, Not anymore! Well, not yet, depends <laughs> when this goes out. But uh, recently, I was at uh, Play Expo, um, footage is on the channel, you know, watch it, and it, it's all related, because whilst I was there, I bought, I, I spent a little bit of coin, not much, and bought a few things. So, what did I get? I hear you not asking, but we'll go through that. Um, a couple of Spectrum games. Yay! I know this says £3 in each one of them, but there's part of a uh, deal type thing. So, um, me and the guy I was with, we bought four. It was four for ten quid. So, um, I bet it must be a fiver. And I chose wisely, because three of the four titles on this one, we were in, or designed by the Oliver Twins, and he were there. So, hard to make out, but they have signed it. I'll get it out to show you. About the plastic in the way, there, there. Unfortunately, it's black, but it's there, for the signatures. They thought it'd be rude not to. Meanwhile, on this side, courtesy of this was a big game in its day, Way of the Exploding Fist, and I interviewed David Rowe, the artist, who did the cover. So, I got him to sign that as well. So, you see him again, rude not to. I'm looking at the games, they're cheap enough, and they're good games to have in your collection. So, I was walking around and uh, I saw this big box of Game Boy Advance import Japanese games. I never thought, let's have a little look. And I found this. This Mario vs Donkey Kong. Um, it's one of the mini's titles. I think it's the first one. Uh, that's one. That's the game which is not quite Lemmings. It's more like Krusty's Fun House, where you've got the little wind-up Mario toys. It's got a great interlude in the game where it's mini Mario, mini Mario's comes out of it, and little posters and whatnot. Great little game. I already own it on the UK PAL, but I really can't resist the Japanese packaging. Always a lot of fun. So I thought, yeah. Bought one of those. Probably one of the more expensive individual purchases of the day. They were three pounds. Well, they worked out as two fifty for the Spectrum games. This is fifteen quid. Uh, I can't be wrong that. And it's mint inside. Whilst well, so I was there, you may have seen the interview with David Rowe, and he had all these bits, prints and things for sale and posters from back in the day. So there's a few things there that caught my eye. So I purchased them. And this is actually how he wrapped them up as you take away. So I just open to show you that. One lucky band off. Two lucky bands off. Pull out the tissue paper. Pull out the tissue paper. And unfurl. And make it the right way up for you. So what we got here. Are Ooh. the test prints for obviously Populous and Populous 2. As you can see, they've got the registration marks and the colour checking tests around the outside, and even some scribbles from back in the day for whatever reason. So these are the ones that are sent to the artist. Uh, well, the proofread to see if it meets his approval. So what you're seeing is the box artwork with the side pieces, front and back. I'll show you the first one again. So that's a different type of sleeve. That looks like it's going to go in some fun box that wraps around. Whilst in, uh, so that'll be opened at the top and bottom. Whilst that one appears to be front and back for two interlocking trays. Mm -hmm. um, and. I really couldn't resist buying them. And the ch cheap as well. That was £10 and that was 15 So yeah, they came home with me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And it shows you what Neil's pickups are like. Um, so whatever you play, whatever you buy, make sure you enjoy it. Bye.